Track 11, Unit 20, Exercise 1. You will hear a student called Dan talking about the famous detective Sherlock Holmes, who was created by the writer Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. For questions 1 to 10, complete the sentences with a word or short phrase. You now have 45 seconds to look at the questions. OK, for my presentation on crime, I want to talk about Sir Arthur Conan Doyle and his character, the detective Sherlock Holmes, who I really like reading about. Conan Doyle was born in 1859 in Edinburgh, Scotland, and was greatly influenced by his mother's love of storytelling. However, rather than studying literature, from 1876 to 1881, he did medicine at the University of Edinburgh. Although Conan Doyle began writing short stories during his time at university, it wasn't until he had graduated and set up a medical practice in London that he began to write seriously. This was because he wasn't a particularly successful doctor and had very few patients. His main inspiration for the character of Sherlock Holmes was a professor who had taught him at Edinburgh. Another inspiration for his writing was a visit Conan Doyle had made at the age of 15 to a wax museum in London. There were wax models of well-known actors and singers there, but it was the models of famous murderers that had the greatest impact on him. The character Sherlock Holmes first appeared in 1887, not in a novel, but as a short story called A Study in Scarlet in a magazine. Holmes was a private detective who ran an agency from his apartment at 221B Baker Street in London and shared most of his work with his friend Dr Watson. From the books Conan Doyle wrote, I've learnt that Holmes had an expert knowledge of chemistry but wasn't quite so good at biology. Sherlock Holmes was one of the first detectives in fiction to make use of forensic medicine – he was particularly good at identifying footprints at a crime scene. These techniques were fairly new when Conan Doyle was writing, but they later formed a key part of actual detective work. I always knew Holmes used a magnifying glass for finding small pieces of evidence, such as hair or ash, but what amazed me was that he also used a microscope – what he didn't use was photography, which was commonly used at the time by the police to record accident scenes and the faces of criminals. It's strange that Conan Doyle doesn't mention it at all in the stories. Conan Doyle used London as a setting for many of his Sherlock Holmes stories, and the way he describes the city at that time is fantastic. Many modern-day readers of his stories find it odd that there's no fog nowadays. This was a real problem for Londoners until the 1950s when the burning of coal was forbidden. Conan Doyle wrote his first set of stories about Holmes over a 10-year period. After this, he became more interested in writing historical novels rather than detective fiction, and so he killed off Sherlock Holmes in a book published in 1893 – but in 1901, Conan Doyle gave in to public pressure and wrote some more books about Holmes. If you're a fan of Sherlock Holmes, then you can visit an interesting museum in London dedicated to him. It is situated at 239 Baker Street. It tries hard to recreate the apartment that Holmes and Watson lived in, but although some details, like the violin case and pipe, are accurate the museum has been criticised for displaying the wrong type of furniture. 
You can also find a small exhibition hall and a gift shop there. So, uh, any questions? Um...